Welcome. This video will guide you step-by-step -step through the process of generating your first printer profile with the DataColor Spider Print sensor and software. Before moving further, please verify your monitor is calibrated to ensure what you see on screen will match your prints when using the Spider Print profile in your applications. After launching the software, make sure that you have attached your Spider Print spectral colorimeter to an available USB port on your computer. Then click Next. Once the activation of Spider Print is complete, you can see your license code. You will receive an email with your new license code. Please keep this email as you will need it if you need to reinstall the software in the future. The test patterns are optimized for A4 and letter size, and we recommend that you perform the printer setup for A4 or letter size in landscape mode with 0.25 inch or 0.635 centimeters margins. If you are new to color management, we would recommend that you become familiar with the key terms and concepts in color management by selecting the Learn About Color Management button before starting to profile your printer. When you are ready to start the profiling process, please select Profile Your Printer and press Next. To help you keep your test targets organized, you can optionally fill in the information on the Before You Begin screen, which will be printed on the bottom of the target sheets below the test patches. If you don't fill in this information, you can hand label the target sheets in the empty space below the patches after you print them if you wish. To ensure an accurate printer profile, it is important that the sheets with the color patches, which you will later measure, are printed correctly and flawlessly. To check that your printer is printing with the highest quality, please perform a nozzle check in your manufacturer's printer driver software which is the most reliable confirmation that all of your printhead nozzles are working correctly without clogs. The printer driver will also have a cleaning function to clean the heads if the nozzle check pattern prints with gaps or flaws. Don't proceed to print target sheets until the manufacturer's nozzle check pattern in the printer driver prints perfectly. Optionally, you can also use Spider Print's Print Quality Check feature as a supplement to the printer driver nozzle check. It prints complete color patches of the fully saturated main ink colors. Fill in the information, then choose if you would like to print just a quadrant or an entire page. Click Print and then Finish. For more information on the process, please click the question mark for the dedicated help page. Additionally, your printer driver offers many settings that impact the final print. By clicking Media Setting Check, you can see how they affect the final print. Once done, click Finished to get back to the Before You Begin page. If you have already filled in the information, click Next. You are now ready to print your first printer target. Click on Print and Measure a Target, then press Next. Spider Print provides different test charts called targets for specific purposes. First, you can choose between Easy Targets and Classic Targets. Classic Targets and Easy Targets contain exactly the same color patch content. The difference between Classic and Easy lie in the size and layout of the patches and how many sheets comprise the entire target. Easy Targets are easier to measure and have larger patches. Classic Targets are smaller color patches and save on paper and ink but require more attention during the reading process. The best combination between speed and accuracy is provided in the recommended Easy High Quality Target. This contains 225 color patches printed on two pages, and it is the recommended option for general use. If you print black and white images with your color printer, the targets with plus grays provides extra data in the gray and near gray areas for improved printing of grayscale images and gray elements in color images. If you are having problems achieving a satisfying result with the standard target, the Easy Expert target provides a high number of color samples for increased accuracy. To create the most accurate profiles, it is important to let the printed target dry before measuring it. As with some printer, paper, ink combinations, the color of the patches will shift as the ink dries. Typically, 
matte media requires less drying time than luster or gloss, while pigment inks may require less drying time than dyes. We recommend a drying time between 15 to 30 minutes. Once you have selected the target, press print and follow the instructions in your printer driver. To make a correct target for measuring, the printer should print as close as possible to the information it gets from your computer, meaning the target print should be uncalibrated, meaning no color management or printer profile should be applied during the process of printing the target sheets. That is why it is important that you disable color management and any image enhancements in your printer driver upon printing. You should also select the type of paper you are printing on, like matte, luster, or gloss, as these settings affect the final print. It is a good idea to note down the settings from the printer driver, as these settings in the printer driver need to be the same when printing with a finished profile. Once the target print is completed, press Next. You are now ready to calibrate your Spider Print Spectro. Place the Spectro in the supplied cradle, with its nose on the round white calibration tile, as pictured in the Spider Print software, and press the button on top. Once you have completed this step, it is time to measure your printed target. Remember to let the target dry sufficiently before proceeding. Put in a name for the measurement file that fits the paper. For instance, Epson 3880 on Premium Luster and click Save. Then click the Open Patch Reading screen. When creating your first profile, we recommend that you click Yes to see the brief tutorial on how to perform the reading correctly. After going through the presentation, click OK to start your own measurement. Place the spider guide over the first line and the sensor on the first square, A1. You have the option to measure your target with one of two scanning techniques, strip or patch. For the strip method, press the button and slide the sensor to the right like shown in the animation. When you hear the sound of a bell, the line is registered and you can continue to the next row. For the patch method, press the button over each individual patch in the order highlighted. You can choose the method you prefer in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Continue with the same operation until the page is completed. Then click on Page 2 and repeat the procedure. In most cases, all squares are measured perfectly. However, if a square is not, it will appear highlighted in red. You can easily remeasure any red squares by clicking in the field in the software and place the Spider Print Spectro on the same tile on the paper and press the button to do a new measurement before continuing. Once all measurements are correct, press OK and click on the Close and Save button. Then click Next. You are now ready to review your profile to see how the test images will look in different rendering intents and toggle the soft proof on and off. Soft proof allows you to simulate how the final printed image will look when actually printed with your printer, paper, and ink using the printer profile you're creating. If you want to make adjustments to the profile, be it small tweaks or major changes, such as having a profile that automatically gives your print a sepia look, you can do so by clicking Advanced Edit. If you are satisfied with the current profile, just click Next. Name your new profile and click Save. You will then see the location where your operating system saves the profile. To finish, click Quit. Be aware that you should make a profile for each printer, paper, and ink combination you use. So if you print on five different types of paper with the same printer and ink combination, then do a profile for each paper type. Our next step is to use the printer profile for printing. To do this step-by-step -step depends upon the software you use. However, it is mandatory that the software being used supports color management. This is necessary as the software needs to understand ICC profiles, which is the industry standard your spider print uses. When printing, it is important that any color management in the printer driver that could be in use are disabled, just like when you printed the test target. The software used for printing needs to control the colors and use the printer profile you have just created. Here is how it is done in Adobe Photoshop CC and Adobe Lightroom CC. In the Photoshop CC print dialog, 
set the color handling to Photoshop Manages Colors, and under Printer Profile choose the Paper Profile for the paper being used. Please note that on some occasions, your computer needs to be restarted for the operating system to be able to see your newly created profile. Then, choose your rendering intent and press Print. In Adobe Lightroom CC Print menu, under Print Job, you can find the Color Management section. For Profile, choose Other, and then select the profile you have created with Spider Print. Select your desired rendering intent and press Print. Congratulations! You have now successfully created your first printer profile and used it for printing perfect, accurate colors. We recommend remaking your profiles yearly. For a complete color-managed workflow, remember to also calibrate your monitor regularly with the Data Color Spider line of monitor calibrators.